Feminist. Pretty big word, right? It's actually, I think of it as an aggressive word. But let's see the real meaning of this word. The advocacy of women's rights on equality on the ground of equality of sexes. Okay, pretty basic, right? The meaning of we, well, me, especially, women fighting for our equal rights. Okay. But we're not the first ones to realize we have a problem. In Seneca Falls, New York, 1848, July 19th and 20, women got together to discuss their social, civil, and religious rights. Okay. And where they stand in these rights. <coughs> because it's really important that we know where we stand. So they started this. They made us realize that we need a change in this society. But what really made me choose this talk is when I was in a basketball game. And my coach said, I want to say you girls have balls, but you don't. So let's put it in context. I, we were playing a really important game, and we were winning. So we were playing like really, really, really good, and we were playing really aggressive in a way. That's basketball, actually. But what made me like hit my nerve was why being having balls is being brave or doing something that nobody else does. And made me realize all the sexist comments we still have. But why? We live in a society built by men. But if you really, really look inside of it, every man has a woman by the side. When, when, they came to, when they came to discover America, they came with a woman. And she, if you heard the stories, she had all the, farm, all the animals they needed to farm. But let's talk another thing that really, really is my name. The money gap. But why is a man paid more than a woman for the same equal job? I don't get it. There's a lot of discussion coming about this, that men have less social health insurance and they need to pay less. So they're paid more? So that's the thing that I don't understand. Why are men paid more than women? But I'm not going to complain, because there's a lot of things we need to change now. But let's talk about something that I'm familiar about. Clothes. Clothes. Okay. Big topic. But let's talk about something important about this topic. Why is a woman, or a girl in my case, being judged by putting some shorts on? Or being looked at in the street up and down, whistled, walls whistled because she's wearing shorts. Oh my god, she's showing her knees. What a shame. No, we don't need this now. We Especially me, I started her walking down the street with my jeans, with my keys in my fingers because I'm scared to walk down the street alone. I don't want that. I don't want anybody to feel that. If I have children, if you have children, you don't want them to feel that. So let's talk about me, a 14 year old who lives in a country who is still run, run by men. So, okay, I don't want to feel judged because I'm walking down the street with a with a spaghetti shirt, t-shirt, and some shorts. Or I don't want to be judged because I'm wearing strap pants or yoga pants because I want to feel comfortable in my own body. I don't want that. But I want to feel safe when I walk down the street alone at night. You know, even that late at 9 o'clock because I was in a friend's house who was really, really close. I want that to feel safe. To feel that I have a place in this society, that I don't have to be always searching for the best, best lit, best lit side of the street because somebody's gonna come to kidnap me or I don't know, well, God knows what. I wanna feel safe. I wanna feel safe in a society where we need change. And I want to tell you this: that women are tired of waiting. So for men to change the way they think, we're here to make the change. And we're going to do it if we need it by force or by listening to us. Thank you.